I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casturbarus. I'm the last of my kind. I travel the universe battling monsters and saving civilizations. I'm a lonely god, the wanderer without a home. I walk in eternity. I stole all time machines to get away from my own race. I killed them all to watch my planet burn in the biggest war the universe has ever seen to save it. I've lost a lot, but I keep on fighting. The Daleks, the Cybermen, they should all run away. Because I'm coming, and they're not gonna win. You know where we should go? Dervoid 5 is a planet completely filled with crystals. The rock formations are amazing. They have this famous peak called the Shining Towers of Doma. So tall that it reaches into the clouds, it's... Oh. I forgot the Donna wasn't here anymore. Ah, poor Donna. Whoa! Temporal anomaly detected. Locking on. Let's see where we end up. This certainly isn't Dervoid 5, no shiny towers here, just some weirdy bins. Oi, watch it mate! Sorry, was trying to get something out of my pocket. What the hell is that thing? Wouldn't understand. What do you think, I'm stupid? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's complicated. Really? Yes, it is. Well, what is it? Okay, it's a sonic screwdriver. What? Like I said, it's complicated. What's it do? It unlocks doors, hacks into the computer, disrupts signals. And beeps? Yeah, it does that sometimes. What is it, like a Star Trek toy? No, it's not like a Star Trek toy. It's a scientific instrument. Yeah, same as my mascara really isn't mascara, it's a lightsaber. Humans, they never believe the truth. Look, there's a temporal anomaly nearby and I need to track it down, so see ya. Oi, we're up! Oi, I said wait, what do you mean, humans? Why are you following me? I thought you didn't believe me. Well, I don't, but I wanted to see what you were up to. See how this gadget of yours works. On Sam, by the way. I told you, it tracks down signals, mainly alien ones. You're telling me that your gizmo tracks down alien signals. You must think I'm a dick or something. No, I'm being honest. That's why it's beeping quite loudly now. So what's it tracked down? I don't know yet, but we're quite close to whatever it is, so I'm going to have to find out. If I were you, I'd go home. What do you think, you could just tell me what to do? I don't think so, somehow. Seriously, this is dangerous. You need to go. Nope, I'm staying. Human, seriously, that never makes such a reason. What the hell is that? It's a time fissure. A time what? A tear in the fabric of reality, a portal from this time to another. It was most likely generated here as a weak point in the fabric of space and time. All religious grounds are. On the other side of that is another dimension, a different reality. Cool, can we go through? No, we can't. We don't know what's on the other side and I need to figure out if anything has come through or not before I close it. Something has come through here. There's a time trace and I guess it's probably not good. It is on the map. So what's come through? I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. So, what do we do? We? We don't do anything. I, the Doctor, I'm going to scan around and look around the area to see if I can find whatever's come through and see if stop it causing trouble if it's dangerous. If it's an alien, then it's going to be dangerous. Excuse me, I'm an alien and I'm trying to help your planet out, so your last sentence isn't true. 
Wait, you're an alien? Yes, now if you wouldn't mind, I need to concentrate. That's why you kept saying humans. So where do you come from? Look, I haven't got time for this. Maybe I'll explain later when we've sorted it out. We've? I thought you said I wasn't involved. Me? I mean me. I'm, I'm used to having someone travelling with me. Doctor, behind you. Stop. Whatever you are, I'm the Doctor. You've come to this planet through a time fissure, a rip in the skin of reality. Identify yourselves. I am Scarvox, the consumer of worlds. I have grown hungry floating around the galaxy, but I have found this planet and I will consume it and all the beings on it. Scarvox, the consumer of worlds, good name. Um, you could, but you can't, because I'm here. Then what are you going to do? You're just a pathetic human. Oi, who are you calling pathetic? Sam, leave it to me. You're an elemental shade from the Hyvux galaxy. Your species were known as the destroyers of galaxies. You are not human? No, I'm not. Then where are you from? I come from an ancient race who lost the biggest war the universe ever saw, but its name lives on. Gallifrey. You are a Time Lord! They banished me from their dimension and left me to starve, but I was able to find another planet and carry on. You would suffer for their crimes. Oh, I think not. This is uh, planet Earth, a level 5 planet. By orders of the Shadow Proclamation, I order you to leave this planet. I don't care about your laws. There are no laws that can stop me. No? Well, I beg to differ. Sam, hold on to us, something. I'm giving you one last chance. Leave now, in peace. You cannot defeat me, Time Lord. I shall consume this planet, and I will stop from consuming you. I've given you a chance, and you wouldn't listen, but there's one law that will stop you. Gravity. No, Doctor, no! There we go, good as new. But won't he just come back? By the looks of him, his life source was wearing thin. He won't be able to open another time fissure, and he'll probably die before it reaches another planet he can consume. So, is that it? Yep. Where are you going? Wherever the TARDIS takes me. The what? What's that thing? Is that your spaceship? Yep, she's called the TARDIS. She? A bit small, isn't it? You tell me.